My name is Jean Altry. I was born in Texas on September 29, 1907. I was a famous singing cowboy on the radio, in movies, and on television. Before artists begin their career, it is most likely they will change their name for, for their real name. For example, Jean Autry's real name was Oven Govern Autry, just like how Lady Gaga's real name is Stephen Jenner Alexandra Germantha. An interesting fact about me is I was the man who created the best known song in America. And I also created Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. That's it. Thank you. Awesome. Who has something for Jean? I like how you show the song that you made. Anybody else? Any other things you want to say? Any questions for Jean? If you can't count your money, then you're not a rich man. Hi, my name is J. Paul Getty, and I was born December 15, 1892. I died June 6, 1976, from heart failure. My father, George Getty, was a lawyer before, he, before founding the Getty Oil Company. After he died, I became president of, oil, of Getty Oil Company. As president, I was right away considered a billion dollar man. One fun fact about me is that in 1957, I was brought into the world records for richest American man who was living. Thank you. Any questions? Good job. How much money did you inherit from your father's company? Billions of dollars because his company was a billion dollar company. What's your net worth? What? Net worth. Net worth? Yeah. What do you mean by that? Like how much you would have? Like <laughs> billions, <laughs> right? His wor yeah, You're yeah. worth billions of dollars yeah. is what he's asking. Yeah. Personally, yeah. you. Yes. Awesome job. We never gave him a round of applause. Let's give him a round of applause. Good job. Hello. My name is Babe Ruth. My birth date is February 26, 1895. My death date was August 16, 1948, and I died from throat cancer. I am from Pigtown, Baltimore, MD. I've had an effect on America because of this generation I got most Yankees fan to get in love with baseball or Yankees. Uh, fun fact, I've had more wins than losses in my whole career. And fun fact too is that I made it into the whole thing. Thank you. Very good. Do you know how do you know how many home runs you fit? Um well the most I've ever had was in um, halfway through my career I had exactly in one season about close to ninety three. Nice. Anyone else? Do you know how many nicknames you had? Do you know, can you name one nickname that you had? Did you hear it, see anything about that on your research? No. Does anybody know what a nickname they had for the babe? Great Bambino. The Great Bambino is one of them, yep. You had quite a few nicknames there. Great minds. Great minds discuss ideas. Average minds discuss events. Small minds discuss anything. I am Anna Eleanor Roosevelt. I was born on October 11, 19, uh, 1884, in New York City, New York, and I died on November 7, 1962, in New York City, New York. If what I said was anything to go by, I was a great mind. I had plenty of ideas and wasn't afraid to share them. I was very shy as a child, however, I was sent to a boarding school in England when I was 15, and I was much more confident in myself afterwards. During my life, I, I was a humanitarian. I helped write the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, and I was a women's rights activist, among other things. I married my fifth cousin, 
Franklin Delano Roosevelt, on March 17, 1905, and he had six children, five of which lived to maturity. After my husband had a po suffered a ho polio attack in 1921, I became more involved in politics to help him with his career. I, during this time, I helped establish Valkill Industries, which is a nonprofit furniture factory. I taught, as a, I taught at a girls' private school in New York, and I was very supportive of votes for women. I became first lady in 1933, and because women were usually excluded from press conferences, I only allowed female reporters. I was also a member of the Daughters of the American Revolution, or DAR, which was supportive of rights for women. However, when they refused to allow a woman of color to perform at a concert they were holding, I resigned my membership as a form of protest. During, during my time as first lady, I traveled around the country observing pe people's living and working situations and reported back to the president. For this reason, I was given the nickname President's Eyes, Ears, and Legs. In 1935, I began a column called My Day, which chronicled the more interesting aspects of my daily life. I continued this to my death in 1962. It is for this reason and many others that I was considered a very influential first lady. Thank you. Oh, oh my goodness. Um, my Hello, my, there. my name is Julie Temple, and I was born on April 23, 1928, in Santa Monica, California. I had two siblings along with me, a great father and a mother as a, was a housewife. I was enrolled in dance classes at ages three and a half, and at six years old I had a contract with educational pictures, low-budget movies dubbed Baby Burlesque, my first Hollywood feature for the Carol Art. As I, began, as I began to mature, I ended my popular film career, focused on career in public service. I ran for U.S. congressional seat served as the U.S. Ambassador to the United Nations, and two years later, I became Chief of Protocol of the United States. Later, later on, I ran for Public Service Role Ambassador to Czechoslovakia. I was married to John Edgar Jr. and had one child, and then another marriage changed, and then I changed my name to Temple Black. I also had two children. I unfortunately passed away at age 85, February 10, 2014, in my home in San Francisco from natural causes. And one fun fact is that my corpse and curls were popular with little girls from the 1930s to the 1970s. And the cool, be brave and clear, follow your heart, and don't be overly influenced by outsiders. Factors, be true to yourself. March 7, 1893, in East Troy. I was a journalist and worked for $7 a week. I published six children bo children's books right before my death in 1986. In 1912, I enrolled in Lawrence College. I transferred to New York City to pursue my hopes of covering World War I. Hickok met ER in 1932 when the reporter convinced her editors to assign me to cover ER during presidential campaigns. Lauren Haycock was an American, American journalist known for her close relationship with the First Lady Eleanor Roosevelt. She worked in Wisconsin to a dressmaker and a dairy farmer. Hickok was an unhappy had an unhappy childhood marked by isolation and abuse. Her nationality was American. Lorena and ER created a relationship between each other between each other together when they got close while she was researching her husband. Lorena died May 1st, 1968 age 75, in Heidi Park, New York. She died from diabetes. My name is Glenn Miller, or for, formerly my known name, or so is Alton Glenn Miller. I was born on March 1st, 1904. I was from Cardena, Iowa. However, I moved all over the Midwest, as I grew older, as when I was younger, like uh, like Nebraska, Oklahoma, and Missouri, etc. 
My death was missing in action on December 15, 1944, over the English Channel. They never found my body, and it's a mystery still to this day, and there are theories on why I got it. I, my impact on America was I helped our troops gain morale during World War II with my songs, helped the troops overseas. I, a fun fact, I played the mandarin as a child, but quickly switched to the horn. I also was enlisted in the U.S. Army, and I was in two movies, as well as I had two very popular songs named Tuxedo Junction in Pennsylvania 6500. Thank you very much. Any questions? Was it part of the Air Force? Was it, uh, it was during a flight to England. Uh, the plane was flying from Paris, and there's theories of what, what happened to the plane. There is no definite theory.